Hello my creative friends! Today I want to do something different and fun. Today I want to go for a double cup ring pour. So I have two cups and one fits perfectly inside of the other and there is still some room here. So I'm gonna add colors to both cups and pour at the same time and yeah hopefully get the cool effect. Uh, I'm inspired with this idea by Tictus Color Art. I'm gonna include his video in the description if you want to check it out. So I saw Tictus doing this technique a while back. I thought it was really cool. I bought these two cups and I forgot about them. But right now, having some extra time to look through all of my supplies and materials, I found this and I thought, oh my God, this is a perfect time to try out something new, something that I had on my list for a while. And that being said, I also challenge you to try out something new and different and feel free to share with me in the comments what you want to try or even better, share pictures in our Facebook group. And in case you're new here, my name is Olga Selby, Smart Art Materials channel and website are all about fluid art supplies, techniques and experiments and you're most welcome here. So let's get started with today's double cup acrylic pour. So I'm expecting this technique to work somewhat like paint case pour, which is why I added contrasting colors to, to different cups and oh, look at that, it fits perfectly. I really like it. Check it out, guys. All right, let's give it a go. So, so far it does create effects similar to the paint case technique, but it's definitely much easier to travel it and to control it when you don't need to hold two cups at the same time.
So I'm covering the edges with some extra white paint just to help the paint flow and move when it reaches the edge because sometimes those areas of the canvas can be really hard to deal with. Alright, let's stretch this beauty and oh my god, I already really like all the cells and details in the paint and by the way, I did not add any silicone, all these cells are just from Floetrol and water. I'm tilting really slowly because I want to keep all the control and really stretch those rings without breaking the shapes. I really like the movement in the paint. I don't want to change the composition a whole lot. I think I'm just gonna take care of this corner and cover it a little bit and that's probably gonna be it. Yeah, this looks really awesome. I don't really like this white corner he here too, but I don't want to tilt it anymore just because I already really like all the movement and details, so I'm gonna try and fix it. I have a little bit of paint left in my cup, so that should be enough to cover it. Alright, I think I need to stop right here. The movement is so beautiful and check out all the details. These colors worked crazy good together. I just love them. Beautiful contrast and I'm so glad that I decided to give this double cup acrylic pour technique a try. I think this technique has just crazy potential for different ring pours, traveling ring pours and everything like that. So definitely gonna play with it more and please let me know what you guys think how do you like the outcome and let me know if you ever tried this technique before i would love to hear from you and thank you so much for watching take care stay healthy and i will see you in the next video bye bye